Mr. Speaker, this evening, let me disabuse this notion that an impeachment process is an attack of the mountain region. Mr. Speaker, an, an impeachment process is a vital process of holding public Officers, state officers are accountable. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I have heard on various occasions from my colleagues, those who oppose this motion, that we are targeting the mountain. I beg to differ. And I do so with the following. There is a lot of movement in the chamber, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Senators, and those, uh, Senator Medina's, let's take our seat, please. And let us hear the Honourable Senator. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me begin again by saying I want to just to disabuse this notion that an impeachment process is an attack on a region. It is not. It is holding, it is a constitutional process that this House has been given the task to be able to hold public officers accountable. Today, we are discussing the impeachment of a, of a deputy president. Tomorrow, we might be discussing the impeachment of a president. We have constantly debated impeachment of governors here. I've never had at one given time when people come up and say we are targeting a particular community. We are not, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we have been entertained this afternoon or the last two days with the defense alleging that the shareholding utterances made by the deputy president is that he was referring to the shareholding of the coalition agreement. And Mr. Speaker, we were demonstrating here that the coalition agreed upon how they can be able to share different you know, positions in government. In fact, I thought they would say that the Speaker of this House was also negotiated. I believe when the Speaker of this House was supposed to be voted for, he was voted for by all the senators. And never have I seen the Speaker giving preference to the people of the coastal region. So, Mr. Speaker, so, Mr. Speaker I, find I find those, I, I, I am not convinced by the defense that the shareholding being uttered by the deputy president is based on the shareholding Mr. Speaker, the defense attempted to respond to the allegation on ground eight, whereby they said that the actions of the deputy president violate section 132 of the penal code, for it is important for us to know that brings into contempt the lawful authority of a public officer. The decision made by Justice Esther Minor in her capacity as a judge of the High Court is protected by the position that she holds. So it is a bit and sensical for the deputy president to go out in public instead of following the due process of the law to be able to go out and appeal the decision of that judge. Until today, Mr. Speaker, the coercion which was used to be able to return the 200 million shillings back to the deputy president, that money must go back to the um, the public. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker so, uh, the Deputy President so, has got a forum. Article 240 of the Constitution puts him as one of the key members, members in the National Security Council. He has got a forum to be able to go out there and express his dissatisfaction with the, um, with the NSIS. NIS. When he calls a press conference and outright says that the Director General of the National Intelligence has completely brought that service into a halt. He was exposing the secrets of this country, and what he was doing is that he was actually saying that we have got no control. Mr. Speaker, if for anything, Today, I'll cast my vote based on various issues. One on shareholding, two 
on the violation of Section 132 of the Penal Code, three, three on, the on the issues of coercion, coercion. I listened to, I listened to the gentleman from Kempsett this afternoon. When he said that, he, he, said that he had to sit hours for hours at ESCC, at ESCC to be able to, to, come, be able out to come out one with one bill. One. one. He was called, he was called on, the on the 11th. When the defense were trying to justify that, instead of actually reading the recommendation, reading the recommendation made by the Senate, you are going through the submissions of one of the witnesses who appeared before my committee of health. So, Mr. Speaker, so Mr. Speaker I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Mm -hmm. Senator.